Alright, hello everyone. Today's video is going to be swapping out this Spectre Alert horn strobe. Uh, the reason for that, um, I'll show in another video, but it will not be staying there for the actual system test because it is not working properly on the system. So, yeah, this will be for test 9 or 10, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, we'll be replacing it with this Gamewell rebrand VLOC NS. This is a four-wire variation, as you can see there. And I'm just going to videotape me switching out the horn strobe. So, let's go ahead and step on up to the, uh, step on up to the board. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to take down the old one, starting with the screw on the top. I am working on this live. I usually don't, but I don't want to deal with uh, shutting down and booting up the panel right now. So we'll work on it live. It's just a horn strobe swap, so it won't be too bad. There we are. And there went the screw up top for that. I'll grab it later. So, I'm going to start by removing the horn terminals. The board just moved quite a bit. So the wires exposed right there are the horn terminals. So we're going to take our new device and wire it into its horn terminals, which in this case is the audible terminals, so the bottom set of terminals. So the horn is hooked up on here. So now we'll move back over to the Spectre Alert and take out the strobe wiring. And just like that, our horn, horn strobe is disconnected, so I'll just uh, set it down here. I'm trying to make sure my face doesn't get in the view. That. So we'll put our strobe wire in first. This time we're starting with the negative because it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. So now the part that I'm trying to avoid is avoid touching the negative terminal with this wire. Okay, I had to shut the camera off because a couple of these wire joints came undone. But now what we're going to do is we're going to pop the cover off and mount this onto the back box. So we'll just push all our wiring back there.
get one screw in. So one of the things I do is now that this is kind of hooked, I'm going to line up the other screw. I can kind of do this by feel and just get it going as well. Maybe not today, but... And there went the cover. And we will finish securing the horn strobe to the wall. So, real quick, I'm also going to put this horn back on code 3. It's still on continuous from last time I used it, which was in basement fire alarm test 25 or 26, over a year ago. But to do that, I'm just going to... Try to grab this jumper here. I'm gonna switch tools here and uh, use this set of pliers. Yeah, I'm going to do this off camera because it's staying too long. Okay, so I move the jumper over. Probably can't even really see in there. Can I not have fails on camera? Um, I move that over. And um, now it's on code 3 internally. And now I'm going to grab the cover off the floor again. Snap that right on there like that. So that completes the horn strobe replacement. And to see the test of it, you'll just have to wait for the video. So as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to check out the links in my description. Thank you, and have a great day.